Hi guys and welcome to another Python tutorial. In this tutorial we'll be talking about the AES or Advanced Encryption Standard uh, Symmetric Cipher Algorithm in Python. We'll be using the PyCryptodome package and uh, this is the documentation of the AES in the PyCryptodome package. So let's just uh, have a quick overview on what is going on right here. So AES is a symmetric encryption algorithm, which means that you have a key and you use this key to encrypt and decrypt the message, right? Okay, so as we can see here, it has a fixed data block size of 16 bytes. However, the key length might vary. So we can have a 128 bytes long key, we have 100 92 and 256, right? Okay, so let's see now how this whole thing works. So first of all, we import the AES and then we construct our key. So this is right here is a 16 byte key. And then we construct our cipher object using AES.new method right here, which has the key as a parameter along with the mode of operation of this AES. So we have a couple of supported modes as you can see right here. And for the sake of this tutorial, we're gonna just follow this um, documentation right here and use the mode EEX, right? Okay, so after constructing this uh, cipher object right here, we can extract a variable in this cipher object is called the nonce, right? So this nonce uh, variable right here is actually just a uh, some bytes, and this nonce variable should be used along with the key in order to decrypt the message. So this nonce is just r some random bytes generated whenever you create your cipher object. Okay, so the next thing is actually encrypting the message. So we're gonna call this uh, encrypt and just method in the cipher object, which is gonna return cipher text and tag. So cipher text is the actually encrypted text and the tag is just a uh, way in order to verify when we decrypt the message that this message is authentic. This is the workflow for encrypting a message. What about decrypting the message? So in order to decrypt the message, we're going to construct our cipher object and we're going to give it the nonce. So this nonce right here is this nonce generated from the encryption cipher object and we're going to use it in the decryption cipher object as well. And what we're going to do next is just call the decrypt method in the cipher object and then it returns the plain text. We can then use the uh, cipher.verify method and we give it the tag to verify that the message is authentic and the key or the message are not corrupted. Okay, so uh, feel free to uh, have a deeper look on this documentation right here, but for the sake of this tutorial, we're done with this documentation. So let's go to the coding. So the first thing that we're gonna do is apparently install the PyCryptoDome library. So what we're gonna do is open your terminal and type pip install PyCryptoDome, hit enter, and then it's going to be installed for you. I already have it installed. So the next thing to do is importing the AES. So from crypto, oops, dot cipher, import AES. And we're going to be using a random uh, key generator. So from secrets import token underscore bytes. So right now 
we're just gonna define our key. So key is equal to token underscore bytes, and then we're gonna give it our length. I'm gonna be using a 16 byte token, and this is this is apparently going to be AES 128 because we're using 128 bits uh, of the key size, right? Okay, so the next thing to do is define the encrypt method. So def encrypt. It's gonna take the message and it's gonna return the nonce, the cipher text, and the tag. So the first thing to do is constructing the cipher object. So cipher is equal to AES dot new and we're gonna give it the key and then the mode of operation. So we're gonna be using AES dot mode underscore EEX. And the nonce is gonna be of course in cipher dot nonce and then cipher text and tag gonna be equal to cipher uh, dot encrypt encrypt underscore and underscore digest and we're gonna give it the message but it's gonna actually take the message as bytes so we're gonna type here message dot encode and between two brackets we just gonna type ASCII for example, to use ASCII encoding, right? Okay, so right now we have our cipher text, we have the tag, we have the nonce. So we're done with the encryption. So we're gonna just return the nonce, the cipher text, and the tag. And we are done with our encrypt method. Let's now define the decrypt method. So def decrypt. And this decrypt method is going to take the nonce, the cipher text, and the tag, of course. And we're going to construct our cipher object as we did previously. So cipher is equal to aes.new. We're going to give it the key, the mode, which is aes.mode underscore eax. And then we're going to give it our nonce. So nonce is equal to nonce, right? Okay, so now we have our cipher object. We just want to get the plain text. So plain text is equal to cipher.decrypt. And then we just give it the cipher text. So cipher text, right? So now we have the uh, the plain text. We just want to check whether our message was manipulated or not. So what we're gonna do is verify the tag. So in a try except block, what we're gonna do is type cipher dot verify, and we give it our tag. Right? So if we successfully verify the tag, then what we're gonna do is return the plain text. But keep in mind that this plain text is bytes. So what we're gonna do is decode this bytes. So plain text dot decode, and we're gonna give it ASCII in this as a parameter right here. And except if we're having exceptions, then this uh, this cipher text is not authentic. Then what we're gonna do is just return false. Okay, so now we're done with the encrypt and decrypt methods and our key generation as well. So what we're gonna do is actually test this out. So I'm gonna call the encrypt method. So it's gonna return the nonce, the cipher underscore, or maybe the cipher text, the tag. So this is gonna be equal to encrypt, right? and we're gonna give it a string. So I'm gonna read this string from the standard input. So I'm gonna type input and then just give it a message, maybe enter a message, right? So at this point, we have our nonce cipher text in tag. So we wanna try to get the plain text. So plain 
text is equal to decrypt and we're gonna give it the nonce the cipher text and the tag of course okay uh, so let's just print out print I'm gonna be using string formatting so if cipher text and then we're gonna print the cipher text right here and uh, let, let's just check for the plain text so if the plain text is false then this uh, this this message was not authentic right there was an error in the message so if plain text or maybe if not plain text print maybe message is corrupted else we're just gonna print the uh, the plain text so I'm gonna change this to plain text and this variable right here is gonna be the plain text right okay so we are done let's give this a test so I'm gonna type Python AES underscore encryption the pi which is the name of my file and click enter so we're gonna enter a message maybe uh, welcome to this tutorial right okay so as we can see here this is the uh, cipher text of our message and this right here is the decrypted plain text using AES 128 encryption algorithm okay so uh, that's it guys for this tutorial and see you in the next one